There's this place called the Dark Playground that I first heard about in a TED talk from this guy named Tim Urban. He writes the blog, Wait But Why? And in late 2013, he wrote an article about procrastination. In it, he vividly describes this so-called dark playground, a visual representation of the invisible place where procrastination happens. Dark playground is a place that all of you procrastinators out there know very well. It's where leisure activities happen at times when leisure activities are not supposed to be happening. The fun you have in the dark playground isn't actually fun because it's completely unearned and the air is filled with guilt, dread, anxiety, self-hatred, all those good procrastinator feelings. If you're like me and you're a chronic procrastinator, then chances are you've helped your brain become addicted to dopamine. Easy and fun things like playing video games or browsing the internet provide a small dose of dopamine. And when we're doing tasks that don't provide these short-term rewards, like washing dishes or doing laundry, we move on to something that will. This is a battle between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex, two parts of the brain that deal with making decisions. The prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that regulates self-control and helps you decide whether a task is worth doing. The limbic system controls our mood and emotions. In other words, it's the part of the brain that steers you away from unpleasant tasks. The problem is that over time, the limbic system learns that if it convinces the prefrontal cortex to do an easy and fun task, it will get a free dose of dopamine. If it repeats this over and over again, it will eventually alter neurons in the brain, which will make you more likely to repeat these easy and fun tasks. Something that's helped me is this productivity tool called the Pomodoro Technique. It was invented by Francisco Trujillo in the 1980s, and it's really simple but really really effective. How it works is you create a list of what you want to get done, then work on that list for 25 minutes, followed by a 5-minute break. Then, after repeating that cycle 4 times over, you take a 15-minute break. I found that by incorporating this method into my workflow, I'm able to stay focused and get things done. Thanks for watching.